Hello, welcome to today's video. We are now on page 139 of the Keyboard Musicianship Book 1. It says here that we are to learn the accompaniment for the Slender Mountain Ash by blocking the harmony in both hands. So that means you play both left hand and right hand together, just like that. It says here that the left hand is a snap. I'm not sure what that means. It says E minor pentachord. So the pentachord is, as you can see, the pentascale as well. The right hand will take some practice, especially with fingering, okay? So you may wanna practice one hand at a time, or if you are bold about it, you can do both together. Let's go ahead and listen to this accompaniment first, okay? Both hands, once again, are gonna be in bass clef. So place your left hand here, it's gonna be E minor position of the left hand because of the chords, and I would encourage you also to write out the chords above the left, the right hand part here, okay? It's gonna be playing, once again, like it mentioned in 138, tonic, subdominant, and the dominant, seven, and which is in first inversion abbreviated. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to this accompaniment. Here we go. One, two, So we have some interesting chords in here. Notice we actually have uh, a major chord here. So usually it's E minor, but we have a major, an E major chord. That's usually not something we see every day, but it is possible to add the relative or the parallel major in minor pieces like this. So let's go ahead and see if we can uh, discover what these chords are and play them or write them out and top. Let's go ahead now and listen to the melody of this piece. Okay, the Slender Mountain Ash. Ready? One, two, three. Excuse me, once again. One, two. So very nice sounding piece, very sad or kind of spooky. Okay, so let's go ahead now and try both hands together. Once again, because you have to have that low note held for three beats on the bottom, when playing both hands together, I would encourage you to use the pedal, but use it very carefully, not to blend the harmonies together or the melody and harmony. So be very careful, lifting every now and then. Ready, here we go. One, two, three. both hands together. So I would encourage you to practice hands separately and then try them together. Okay, so we will see you at next lesson. Have a good day.